You Ron? Hey. Hi, I'm John. Ron. Hi, John. Hey, you talk to Danny on the phone? Yes. Oh, all right. This is the kind of stuff we're looking for. I've got one of each, I think. Yeah. One of everything on <laughs> yeah. the list. I got a problem. Show us a problem. This is a problem. Woo! You ain't a kidding, you got some stuff. It's packed in here, dude. <laughs> I collect almost everything. Usually stuff from the 50s when I was growing up. I was one of six kids. We didn't have a lot of money, and you know, got hand-me-down clothes and hand-me-down toys. So when I got a job that I could afford things like that, I bought them. Living my childhood again. So you're a toy guy? Everything. I've got to start emptying out this place. Bought a place up in Pennsylvania. OK. Wow. So let me get rid of some of this stuff. And I can barely move in this house. And I'm sort of embarrassed about that. So it's time to thin the herd. So you're trying to empty this place out, right? Yes. What do you got to get for this thing? Six-pack cooler. Six-pack coolers are more desirable because of their size. It's a smaller cooler. It's rarer. You just don't find six-packs. This is the size everybody wants. Yeah. yeah. They're worth about 350 Yeah. Without rust. But that's a retail number. That's a retail number, yeah. 275 <sighs> 250 man. We'll do 250 <sighs> Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Great piece. It is. I loved it. Should be a few things. What the heck? <laughs> wow. Ooh. Holy cow. Ron, I thought you had some stuff upstairs, but this is like. This is dense. Did you buy every single cooler there was to buy? I left three behind. I have a lot of coolers. And I think it's 168. Just about everything I have is original. I love the design and all the different intricacies. I'm not even sure where that comes from. If I move something, will everything come tumbling down on me? Possibly. <laughs> I, I'm trying to wrap my brain around this basement. And we're talking floor to ceiling. Every single cooler under the sun. This is beyond collecting. Ron, they call it Antiques Anonymous. Sign yourself up. Woo, Robbie, look at this one, Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I see it from here. I'm like looking yeah. at its original paint. Original paint. Ron, I like it. Dr. Pepper is one of those rarity brands. It's based out of Texas. You don't ever see the coolers themselves. You'll see Pepsi, 7-Up, Coca-Cola. You very rarely see an embossed Dr. Pepper cooler. To me, it's the holy grail of all coolers. It's got the porcelain sign on it, which is unusual itself, and the biggie. Original cap catcher. Always missing. Is the inside of this thing rotted out? No, it's great. It's actually intact. No rot on the bottom of it. The paint's faded out. I mean, the guys that want these things, they want them pristine. How much is this thing? Two? Yeah. 1400 Oh, no. I'm looking at what I got to do to get it out of here. 1500 bucks and we're done. No. I get it out of here. I could come down maybe to 18. Robbie, what are you doing? I'm trying to buy this, but you got look Kellogg's at cereal yeah, thing? Yeah, look at this thing. Yeah, great shelf piece. Yeah, it's cool. That is bad. This is a Kellogg's point of sale wall display. This is something in the back of a diner where you go in the morning and you pick that what cereal you want. It's tin, embossed. It's really cool. It's a nice condition. It's, it's really early. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. Well, how much is this? Seven. <sighs> what? My opinion, that's like a $300 retail piece. No, I not. was just this about is, to do this. This is not a cooler, dude. This hey. is like a, a shelf <laughs> display. I, I was just about to do this. Let's get this deal done with this. Yeah. And we'll call it 1900 even. 2000 for the pair. Oh, no. I'll tell you what. I'll flip you for it. It's 21 or 1600 uh-oh, uh-oh. You just could be your winning day. And I'm not a gambling man. I work hard for my money, so, man, I'd never really do a coin flip, and Robbie's not gonna win anyway. He didn't win anything. Your Hold chance. on your jersey. Okay, you can call it. Ready? Okay, do it. Go ahead. Heads. Ready? Heads. I called heads. Go ahead. Tails. Damn! Robbie, what are you gonna do? 71 yeah. years old, and I finally he won. He finally won something. I've never won anything in my life. People flip, and I always lose. So that was a good flip for me. Kellogg's piece and this freaking Dr. Pepper. What else you got to look at down here? Now I'm all flustered okay. in here. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.